Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm here in Dublin, Ohio at the Field of Corn Public Art Sculpture. Um, if you've ever heard of this place, you probably know it better as Cornhenge. And quite honestly, that's a much better name for it. Um, basically what this is, is a public art sculpture in Dublin, Ohio, built in 1994, um, that contains 109 concrete pieces of corn, um, that are just in this field. And that's basically the best way to describe it. Um, if I'm remembering right, there was something like six different unique molds that they used for the corn statues, but they also rotated the corn different ways so it all looked different. Now, also in this park are um, a special type of tree, which I believe are these trees over here. Um, I'm not even going to begin to try to pronounce their name because I would just butcher it. But basically, these trees produce this um, green fruit, which you've probably seen before because it looks kind of like a brain. And it's extremely good at repelling um, spiders, cockroaches, insects, things like that. And the reason that these trees are here is because they used to be the type of trees that would actually line cornfields in this area of Ohio, apparently. Now, also at this park, we do have some plaques um, that give a bit of history. I'm not going to directly read off them, but basically, um, the first two talk about how important corn is to Ohio. Um, the very metal one talks about these trees and how important they are. And then down at the end, um, we have two plaques that talk about why this sculpture exists. Which is kind of great because I knew that this was a public work sculpture, but I didn't really know why they made it a field of corn. And this story is actually very interesting. Um, basically, in the 1900s, um, they tried to hy hibernate, hy they tried to make corn into a hybrid, and... Um, they did succeed, and they made a corn known as Corn Belt Dent Corn. And it was actually farmed on this land from, I believe it was 1935 to 1965, um, by this man who was a professor at Ohio State University and on the Department of Agriculture, I believe it was the Seed Committee, something along those lines. And basically, this whole park was built like this to honor both the man who farmed on this site and this hybrid corn that apparently revolutionized how we grow corn in North America. Um, so yeah, as you're walking around the park, you can just see basically corn after corn after corn. Um, I believe each corn is around six feet tall and weighs about 1,500 pounds. Um, this sculpture's probably close to 30 years old. I think it's probably about 25 if I actually did the math, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and as far as I know, all the corn is still here. There's no vandalization. It's all in really good condition, especially for Ohio weather. Um, yeah, now as you can see, looking around the area, it's definitely changed, um, over there is a company called DNVGL, which is an engineering company, apparently. There's a company across the street. Um, we have a pretty busy road next door. And then, although I don't think you guys can see it, past the trees is a very, very large building for a company. So Dublin has definitely changed from its farming days to a more business-centered place, or at least this area has. So I do think this place is definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. Um, the only bad thing about it is there is not really parking here. Um, I had to park at that engineering company nearby. And I'm not even sure if I was allowed to park there. So yes, this is the Cornhenge in Dublin, Ohio. Um, it's a pretty unique place. Um, it's actually nice that they put the history here because it... To me, without it, I would have no idea really what's going on. The only things that I really still wonder is why isn't it painted um, yellow like corn? And why exactly 109? Because that's such an oddly specific number. But this is one of several Dublin um, public artworks in the area. 
I actually will hopefully have at least one more video coming about one of their unique art projects. So definitely check that out. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video, this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.